Welcome to 1992. I'm going to show you how this synthesizer built in Octamed works. Even if you're not into Amiga or Soundtaker stuff, but you're a synthesizer freak like I am, I think you'll find it very interesting because it's a kind of synthesis that's not very known. It's a kind of wave table synthesis, but I haven't seen this in any other hardware or virtual synthesizers and it sounds pretty good but in this recording you'll hear some clicks because I'm using an emulator. One limitation in Octamed synth sounds is that they don't show their waveforms in the track scopes. So let's see or better say let's not see anything while sample sounds show their waveforms live. But don't worry, we're going to visualize the waves and we're even going to draw them. Let's start with the basic operation. And for the start we're going to select an empty instrument like this, number two. And then we are going to click into the instrument button and we have to change the type to synth just clicking in this synth button and we can also enter a name for this sound clicking here and that's it don't worry about this volume control because it doesn't affect synth sounds at all then we are going to enter the synth editor clicking on synth and we find these two oscillator screens or scopes the one on the right is not meant to be played it's just an edit buffer that is very useful as you'll see and we can perform any operations and edit in any of the two scopes this scope on the left is the one that shows the waveform that will actually play the oscillator i'll choose a preset sine wave but if I do it now, it will appear into the right or edit buffer. So first I have to change with this edit left button. So everything I do will go into the left scope. Now click in the sine wave and it fills the left scope. And we can play with the keyboard and listen to it. Synth sounds have 5 octave range, while samplers only have 3. Let's try the sawtooth wave, the square, and the white noise. Usual noise has no pitch, but since this is a digital one and it's a cycle, we can play notes with it. Every time we press the noise button, it will generate a different random noise. Let's check the triangle wave, the reverse sawtooth. This will clear the waveform select to be edit and all to clear all waveforms and parameters in this instrument we can draw our own waveform as i told you it's really fun all we have to do is to click with the left mouse button into the active scope
right mouse button selects a range inside the scope. We can draw with left button and play the keyboard at the same time. We could even play the pattern or block while we are drawing the waveform. We can draw pixel by pixel or freehand keeping left mouse button pressed while we move the pointer. If we choose line, we will draw a straight line from the first point we click to the next one. With this mix option activated, lines or pixels will be mixed with the previous content on the screen. This Scenes Editor is the only place in a tracker where we can find an undo option. So nowadays it's nothing impressive, but back in 1992 this was a real lifesaver. With a range selected, we can perform the usual cut, copy and paste operations. When cutting, the remaining waveform will move to the left. Cut and copy reflect on the edit buffer, the one on the right. This parameter holds the total length of the waveform. It can go from 1 to 128 by clicking or minus or plus, but in order to have an oscillator tuned, we should move in multiples of 8. So let's click on the length number and enter 64, current waveform gets cut, but as we select another preset, it will fill the exact length. Being half the size, this oscillator will play one octave upper than before. I find 64 the most useful range while keeping a good resolution. In the middle of the two scopes, we find options about interacting one screen with the other. We can quickly copy one wave to the other place. Exchange the content between the two screens. or mix the buffer screen into the main one. I choose to edit the buffer and put a sawtooth into it. When I press mix, it will blend into the sine wave and their amplitude will adapt in order to remain inside the limits.
If I do the same operation using add button instead of mix, the waveforms will be summed up and the resulting amplitude will often clip the boundaries of the screen. And under the undo button, we find the range all option to quickly select all the content of one screen. Further on the range options, we find clear to silent the selected range. And this DBL button that means double, which doubles the frequency of the selected range. I'm going to use it to add harmonics or overtones to a simple sine wave. I put the same sine wave on two screens then range all the right screen and select double. We can see the resulting wave is the same but one octave up and then we are going to mix this wave into the main one and we get a waveform with just two harmonics. I'll repeat the operation to add more harmonics to our waveform. With the sine wave it's easier to notice, but you can do it with any waveform you want. Next to the double button, there's a reverse option, of course, to reverse the select range of the waveform. These two arrows push the selected range to one side or to the other, leaving on the other side a blank space. Thank you. 